Okay, now what we are making is a uh, we are making a needlefish fly, and it's supposed to imitate a needlefish. This is going to be the body, and we made the body by burning, not burning, taking the bodkin, putting it in the vise by the uh, metal part, and um, then we t tied the thread on the uh, on the uh, the little pointy part of it, and then um, we just went from there and put on the uh, stuff. And then we just took it off by pulling it off after we glued it all together. So now we're going together with the uh, body of it on the uh, hook. So here we go. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to attach the thread about, say, mm, I don't know, three three quarters down the hook or at the bend of the hook is even better just at the bend of the hook alright bend of the hook got that everybody bend of the hook alright then I'm gonna take this and do one loose wrap one tight wrap and keep on doing tight wraps. Alright. Now just do it until you can still barely turn it to the top. And then you're going to want to turn it to the top because it's going to go a little bit sideways. And so you're going to want to do that. And then so just go all the way down the hook shank with it. Until you see no more of the uh, stuff there. And uh, so yeah. The last fly we made was the, uh, was the uh, Tanzima. That was actually a good fishing fly. I fished with that earlier. And I caught bunches and bunches and bunches of fish. So, I don't want to tie that one. If you haven't already. Then walk it all the way back down, doing tight wraps close together, just making sure that nothing is showing. All right, now I'm just gonna trim some stuff out. Now, we're going to do it. So we take some of this mono, cut about an uh, inch and a half of that off, or two inches, or inch and a half actually. And um, just, you're going to want to tie one on at a time here. Make it go under it and tie it on again on this side. For all you beginner fly tires, this is um, 
a uh, what you call it a thread keeper up or something <laughs> I don't know what you call it but it's something to keep up the back you know what I mean so if you have a long back you're gonna want to tie one of these just to make sure it doesn't get tangled with the hook so we're gonna what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a thick place right back here we're gonna make it really thick so pretty much building a thread thing. I'm going to build a thread dam right here. Just make it really, really thick. And make it, get it to go down a little. But I'll make it really, really thick back here because this is where our eyes are going to go. And uh, we don't want our eyes to fall off when it's in the water. That would be very bad to have a floating eye. Alright, alright, it's time to put on the eyes. What you're gonna need is super glue and 3D eyes. So, um, yeah. Uh, so we peel off the eye, you just peel it off, it's a self sticking eye. And then you put the super glue on the back of the eye on the sticky part in other words and you just stick it on trust me it will get back at you you have a fine tune and stuff and just go crazy with the super glue.